You heard Pastor Bill speak of the first day of the most critically important week since the creation of the earth. Uh, that was the week that Jesus, our Savior, would go to the cross, die, be buried, and, and of course rise from the dead. Now on Monday, the day after Jesus' spectacular fulfillment of prophecy and his triumphal entry, he headed back to Jerusalem. He had spent the night with friends in Bethany. Well, two significant events took place on this day. Number one, the Gospels tell us that Jesus came upon a fig tree. And strangely, it looked vibrant and, and healthy, but was in fact not vibrant or healthy. Uh, the fig tree was created, obviously, to bear fruit, figs. Uh, this tree was not doing so. Uh, it wasn't doing what it was made to do, and so Jesus pronounced judgment on it. He cursed it. It looked the part, but it did not do its part. Secondly, later that same day, Monday, Jesus encountered a, another creation that was a, a far cry from its intended design. That was the temple. It was ultimately to be a house of prayer, a, a place where people would come to commune with God. But instead, it had just become a commercial enterprise. And Jesus said that it would one day fall. In fact, it, it, it did. It was destroyed. It was ransacked for the gold. How appropriate was that? Well, here's the point. You and I have a purpose, and, and that purpose is to fellowship and to commune with the living God. And the ultimate way that that happens is when you and I are temples, we're dwelling spots for God, the Holy Spirit. But one huge problem uh, is there, and that is undealt with sin. It, it prevents that from happening. But there's a solution, and Jesus had to make that solution. He had to pay for that sin, a price that you and I could never pay, and then conquer death, the death that, that separates us, the sin that separates us. So now the way has been made, but here's the key question. Am I availing myself of this priceless, precious privilege of prayer and communion and fellowship with the Creator? And let it not be said that, that we're a far cry from our intended purpose. So this week had to happen for you and for me to be able to truly commune on our own at any time, at any place with the living God. And it did happen, this week did happen. Jesus, he died for us and he's back. And there it is, Monday of Passion Week. What a great way to kick off the work week on our behalf. This has been a presentation of Refuge Calvary Chapel Huntington Beach. For more information about our ministry, please visit refugefamily.com or call 714-891-9495. I said